Hi everyone, Sam McKay here from Enterprise DNA. Now, I want to show you, uh, this is just going to be a quick video, I want to show you all the various ways that you can get hold of demo data to practice uh, your, uh, running analysis and practice all the techniques that you are learning through our, our, our channel and also through our um, education platform. Um, Obviously, you want to get a diverse range of experience when you're working inside of Power BI. And so that's why we've we've collated a range of different demo data sets that you can actually access. Both uh, some are embedded into our platform, but some also we make available for free. OK, so I'm currently on the Enterprise DNA website and where you should navigate to on our homepage, um, enterprisedna.co, is you want to actually go to our knowledge base. OK, and so I'm going to click on here. And you'll see that the URL for our knowledge base is actually info.enterprisedna.co. Okay, and so anyone can access these. Um, these are completely free, so definitely check them out. And what we've got down here is this demo data library. Okay, so if you actually, there's a few other things here. We've got some information um, like our DAX formula guide, um, Power BI custom visual guide, inspiration, like report design inspiration, DAX quizzes, challenges, etc. But here we're going to focus on the demo data. Okay, so you click on here. And you'll see that we have brought together a range of different um, data sets based on industries. So agriculture, construction, um, customer service, education, entertainment, um, insurance, real estate, sales and inventory. And all you need to do is click on um, any of these. So um, we've got some HR data here. You click on that and you just have to enter your email and we will send this directly to your email. And that's the same for all of these. And so we've made it super easy to get your hands on a whole range of data sets. And then it's up to you to then just start playing around, start utilizing um, the, 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 the sort of framework and methodology that we talk about, you know, practicing, creating some simple formula, then use measure branching to do more advanced formula. Uh, you know, these are the perfect things, um, data sets that you can use and see how versatile all of the techniques that we discuss uh, are on any type of data set. Okay. Now, another place that you can get uh, um, other data as well is within our platform. So I'll just um, navigate here. So I'll go to the membership portal in this particular example. And if I go to the learning center here, I go to the learning center, which is where all of our on-demand content is, you can actually um, download these resources here, the demo data for practice. Okay, so we've got another whole unique data set um, here, which we make available to our, um, our members. And so you can see here again, this is business functions, but also, um, oh, sorry, industries, but also a whole range of business business function data here as well that you can take advantage of. Another place that you can access this as well is you can access this through both our Power BI showcases and the Power BI challenge showcases. So I'll, I'll jump into these ones first. Um, but obviously, within all of these PBIX examples, like all of these Power BI examples, you can um, you can actually and so obviously you have to be um, you have to have access to be able to um, uh, add, like have membership access to be able to access these. But what you can do is you can actually click through and download the data from the actual PBIX files itself. So I'm not sure if you um, actually um, you actually know this, but when you actually go into um, a a model, you can actually download the data directly from um, from here, right? And so the way you do that is this um, actually I think you might do it in here is it yeah so when you come to the query editor what you can do is you can go copy entire table and so or if I go to my dates table I can go copy my entire table and what that enables me to do is basically copy this into an Excel file, and that's another way that you can you can get a subset of uh, of information. What you can also do is you could you know if it, if the data was huge, you could also create some filters here and then export that and then extrapolate out. So a, another easy way to um, get data out um, through through the actual PBIX files as well. So don't so so definitely don't um, definitely don't forget that it's very very. Um, very, very easy to actually get data out of out of out of PBIX files as well. The last thing that I think I'll show you in terms of ways you can create um, or get demo data sets is, is more um, within our 
uh, within our ultimate power bi resource collection module which is which is free by the way so you can actually come to our learning center even if you aren't a member and uh, download this but we have what's called the data randomizer the power bi da data randomizer so we're making this completely available this has been something we've held um, in, on internally onto internally for years and developed a lot of our um, demo data sets from but now we're making this widely available to everyone and um, it's just an excel model that you can download and it uh, enables you to create um, randomized data like at the click of a fingers a click of your fingers just by using utilizing an add-in inside of excel and so this is something where you know you can find find some data online and then if you want to randomize it or you want to expand upon it like this is the tool that you can actually utilize to do that so hopefully you know i've gone through some good examples here um, there's many ways that you can access a whole lot of data and also manipulate it to whatever you need um, to practice okay and that's the that's one of the key things to actually learn um, power bi um, and, and and really master it as you need to practice as much as you possibly can okay so we are facilitating this in many different ways and so hopefully you enjoy um, sort of seeing where you can do that there's some free stuff there's some um, stuff you've got to obviously upgrade to to access as well but you know we want to make sure we're impacting everyone out there so that's why we've got this diverse range of ways that you can you can access certain certain parts of um, certain resources that we make available okay that's it short and sweet um, just wanted to give you a rundown there definitely check out the enterprise dna website for a whole lot of um, other resources that you can you can access um, if you go to um, portal.enterprisedna.co that's our learning center for uh, grabbing all, a lot of free resources and free content and then obviously we've got info.enterprisedna.co which is our um, which is our knowledge base and so a few other things to review there okay take care everyone all the best look forward to chatting next time hey everyone Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.